like Snoopy. Not like Snoopy. Anyway, uh, so I, I mean, I've got my mouth on it. So if you want to buy this one because, you know, the SC Peddler had his mouth on it, be my guest. What is up, YouTube? Welcome back to the South Carolina Peddler channel. My name is Jason, and I am here to entertain you for however long it takes me to go through these items that I have thrifted this week. Um, so thank you for being here and taking this time up with me and your valuable time is very much appreciated. If you like this type of content, like, subscribe, hit the bell. That's all I'm going to do for advertising. Thank you for coming in here. So this past week I have thrifted my butt off. Um, slim pickings, I thought in the beginning, but as the week got longer now i say that we get longer today is the 27th this is monday these are thrifted items up to friday of last week which was the 24th i think let me see yes the 24th i hit all my goodwills uh, a couple of, of local thrift stores a little like mom and pops thrift stores and i'm going to show you guys what we found um, and I'll try to find some comps on a lot of these and put them up on the screen somewhere up here or down here or over there, or that way, or that way. How come everything's backwards? <laughs> okay, anyway, so without further ado, here we go. Now, do y'all notice anything about me that you might like? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Do you see that? No, I don't work at McDonald's. This, this, we found in one of the cars. Now, this wasn't an item I thrifted. Uh, my wife and I, we have about four and a half acres that we own out in the country, and we lease a piece of that acreage to a repossession company, and they store their repos on our property. And what my wife does is she babysits these cars, and then she releases them to people who come and get them back, and big boring story. Anyway, we have a building on this property, and she stores all the inventory from the cars, and the trucks, and boats, and RVs, that she finds into this building. And state law requires us to hold the inventory for 30 days so whoever had the vehicle before it was repossessed can come and get their belongings. Um, but her company, the company we lease to, they allow 60 days uh, to give them enough time to come and get their things. But after 60 days, the inventory is hers, my wife's. So she can do what she wants with it. She can keep it, she can sell it, she can donate it, she can burn it, she can eat it, whatever she wants to do. Doesn't matter. 60 days, it belongs to her. So, long story, I know it was a long way to get to this. It was this hat. This hat. It's a McDonald's hat. This man see the Mickey D's. Mickey D's, for all the y'all, all the y'all who don't know, this is a five pane McDonald's employee hat. So I'm gonna put down here. I'll put it like right across here. Right there. As to what they're selling for. I'll show you sold uh, sold comps on these. Uh, so you can just see, I don't even tell you, you can see it for yourself. It should be there now. So you can, you know, look at it. So you read it. Just, just look at it. See it's green. That means it's was sold. If somebody bought it for that price. I'm not even going to say it. I know what the price is. I'm not going to say it. I just want you to see it. Just look at it. Stare at it. Love it. Kiss it. And look for these. Anytime you're in the Goodwill or, or a thrift store or a yard sale, people who have worked at McDonald's may have these laying around or may have donated them to the thrift. Okay, that was way too long on the McDonald's hat. All right, let's go to the next thing. Let's just, just go. Next thing, okay. All right, so this, my friends, is a toucan dance. Here, let me show you. Mm -hmm. Can you, oh, wait a minute. Can y'all see that? I took the autofocus off of this camera because it kept making a shutter sound in my videos. Here, let me. Just, just do that. There, you can see it now. All right. <clears throat> and this one was a very interesting shirt. It's a Hawaiian shirt. Very graphic, very colorful. Um, it's got a little fuzzy on it, which is okay, because I do defuzz all of my shirts before I list them. And some of them I even put in the washing machine and clean them. Um, but anyway, <clears throat> this shirt, the comps I will, I will include on the video here, so you can see that too. Um, I picked it up because it was selling, I think, between $20 and $25, or maybe one just sold. Anyway, it's going to be here. You'll see. If I can't sell it for $20 or more, then I'm not going to pick it because <clears throat> or thrift it. 
that being said, the reason I'm like that, that's just my way. You guys can do whatever you want, however you decide to do your budget. If I spend five dollars or less on an item, then I want to sell it for at least twenty dollars. If I spend ten dollars on it, then I want to sell it for at least thirty dollars. If I spend fifteen, I'll sell it for forty. What I want to do is I want to get my money back for forty-five. Excuse me, I'm, my math is wrong. Let me go back. I want times three my money. I want my money back times three. So if I do my five, I spend five bucks, I want to sell it for 20. That way I get $15 back. I get my five plus 15. If I sell it for 10, then I want to sell it for 40. That gets my 10 back plus 30. You guys follow me and then so on and so forth. The higher you go, the more I'm going to sell it for because it's always going to be times three what I paid. With that being said, if I paid $100 for it, then I'm going to sell it for $400. If I can't sell it for 400 bucks, I'm not going to spend a hundred dollars on it. That simple. Okay. Enough of the math because it confused me. All right. Anyway, Toucan. You guys keep an eye out for that brand. It's a pretty good brand. They make all types of graphic uh, Hawaiian type shirts. I think they make some other things. But anyway, you can do that on your own time. Okay. Oh, here's another one. I like this one. This is a good one. This, my peeps. This, my peeps. You keep your eye out for this label. This is a bolo. If you do not know this, then learn it, love it, kiss it, and hug it. And then you guys find it, and then you can sell it. Because people love these old vintage ropers. This is a vintage roper western shirt. Now, it's got a couple things going for it, and it's got a couple things that's not so well with it. <clears throat> One of the things are not so well, and you may be able to see that. It's got some dinginess around the collar, which I mean, you mean we're going to get that out. I don't know. My wife's got some magic touch stuff she uses, so maybe that'll come out. And it doesn't have the pearl snaps. No pearl snaps. It's just got regular blue, 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 blue buttons. See the blue buttons? See the blue buttons? Which is okay. It's all right. It's a nice shirt. I like it because it's got the aztec -y tribal type design across the front and the back and on the sleeves and it's like a marbled blue color which I can probably put marbled marbled into the description uh, for the title yeah I wonder if anybody's searching marbled on eBay we'll see but it is an extra large which is a great size of sale on this brand um, I have sold these in the past I've only found these a couple of times. I found a few in a, in a Goodwill and I found a few at a um, yard sale here locally, which is right around the block from my house here. They have all sold. I have not listed this one yet, but it's pretty cool. I think it's all cotton. Um, yes, 100% cotton. Okay. Anyway, Roper, keep an eye out for it. It's a good buy. Look for the ones specifically that look like a rodeo shirt. Maybe I'll post what I mean by rodeo shirt up here, down here. I have to remember everything's backwards. Or over there. A little plant, see? Cool. No, 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 no. I'm not going to be crazy. All right, here. Let's put this in the gaming chair. And here's one that some of you guys may recognize. I don't know. Maybe you do, maybe you don't. This is... A Komen Sport. Now, if you look these up on eBay, you will see that this brand makes all kind of wild designs, like Hawaiian designs, poker designs. This is like a French smoking cigar Spanish thingy. I don't know yet how I'm going to list it. If you guys have any ideas, post them in the comments, because I'm not sure how to list this yet. I couldn't find this exact shirt on, on eBay. Can't find any of these on Poshmark. Um, but I'm thinking somewhere between $30 and $40. Could be wrong. But we will see. Anyway, Komen Sport. Love it. All right. And here's another good one. Here we go. This is a vintage. Now, this is a... I normally don't pick these up because it's the other size. They don't sell very fast. They might sit on your eBay for months before they sell. But this is a, a vintage Patagonia button-up. Button front, button down, whatever you want to call them. That's the vintage Patagonia tag, 1990s. And it's just a regular plaid 
small, size small. That's the uh, that's the downfall of this shirt. Well, it's not the pattern, it's not the design, it's a, it's a desirable color. <clears throat> the problem is it's the size. People in the United States don't wear small shirts. We're all big folks, not big as me. But typically speaking, generally speaking, people around here are bigger. So they want bigger sizes, large, extra large, double X, triple X, four X, five XL. If you can find one of these in a five XL, you got a $50 shirt probably. So anyway, there you go, Patagonia. Not the most interesting find, but it will eventually sell to somebody. Now, here's a vintage, oh, no, excuse me, it's not vintage, it's an Orvis fishing shirt. Uh, it's kind of wrinkly, that's fine. And it's vented, it's one. It's like a, you know, like a Columbia PFG kind of vent. It's a fishing shirt, it's really lightweight. Um, this will probably sell for about $15, $18. I saw the comps on them and I just, I can't pass up Orvis. I just I have a hard time leaving these on the rack. I think I got this at, well, I know I did. I got this at one of our local thrifts for like $2.50 or something, but yeah. It's just a normal, no no big deal Orvis. And it'll sell, eventually. I think I'm gonna ask about 15 or $16 for it. I don't want a big, a big return. And this one I bought just because of the color. It's a very interesting color now. You guys are going to love this brand. You already know it. You probably already love it. You probably already thrift it. You probably already sell it. It's a Tommy Bahama. Now, I've never sold... Oh, maybe that didn't come out. Let me do this again. Let me see. Can I see? Yeah, old Tommy. I don't know what type of... That's the embroidered logo in there. Okay. Um, I bought it. It's a... Let me see. So I say it right. It's a 100% tinsel. Lyo cell, okay. It's probably it's, it feels like um, it almost feels like a suede cotton. It's kind of almost suede, but not quite. It's kind of a I don't know. It's almost chalky, I guess. But it's a cool color. I mean, look at it. It's just it's got the like the aqua blue, and then it's got those cool orangey red stripes on it. And I think this will probably be sell. I mean, I couldn't find anything this colorful. Matter of fact. I couldn't find anything that had this Tommy Bahama logo on it. But anyway, I got it because it's just a cool shirt, and it's a Tommy Bahama. See, it's got a little Tommy. You, where's it go? Oh, what's on this head? <laughs> Everything's in reverse. I keep forgetting. It's got a little palm tree on there, and then it's got the. Uh, it's got the. Uh, I think some on the bottom here too, if I'm not mistaken. Well, uh, maybe not. Probably had the Tommy thing on the bottom here. Anyway. Maybe I just had too much beer. Anybody else here drink beer? I like beer. All right. Yeah, but anyway, colorful Tommy Bahama. Got it. Love it. Look for it. I'll let you know if it sells or what it sells for. Okay. <clears throat> now, here's a brand that I don't normally pick up. But for some reason, I decided to get this one. Um, it's a large trim, trim fit, which means it's going to fit kind of trim. Hence the word trim fit. This is a Duluth Trading Company. Um, unless it's a big fleece line flannel or fleece line jacket, I usually don't pick these up. But I got this one because the comps on this very shirt, well, I say this very shirt, but shirts that are very similar are going for $22, $25, you know, about $22 to $25 mark. So, and this is a great condition flannel shirt, long sleeve. They're still selling, y'all. The flannels and the jackets are still selling. Uh, probably start going out in about another month or so people start looking for the spring items and <clears throat> all that. <clears throat> anyway, Duluth Trading. There. Y'all already know this one. But I got this one because I like the color. And if I can't sell it, my son can wear it. He's a large slim. So it's a nice shirt. Got it for $4 at a Goodwill. All right. Looking to sell it for around $23. Okay. What else we got? I see we find our pile of goodies over here. Oh, uh, let's see. Hey, yeah. Mm. Now this one's interesting. Might help if I turn around the right way. <laughs> All right, so this is a Polo Ralph Lauren, Ralph Lauren, Ralph Lauren. However you want to say it. it's a Polo Ralph Lauren women's cashmere V-neck. Why is it a woman's shirt or a V-neck? Cause look at the shape. It's shaped like a woman. It's got an hourglass shape. 
If it was square on the sides, then it would be a man's. It doesn't tell you if it's a man's or a woman's, so you got to figure it out yourself. And this is a woman. It's a great size. It's an XXL. Why is that a great size, Jason? Well, because women's XXLs, men's XXLs, in my opinion, sell better. I cannot find a cashmere sweater like this, red, on, put my nose across there, like Snoopy. I like Snoopy. Anyway, uh, so I, I've got my mouth on it. So if you want to buy this one because, you know, the SC Peddler had a mouth on it, be my guest. Because I'm going to be putting it on eBay. Anyway, <coughs> okay, anyway. Cashmere, Polar Ralph Lauren, women's v-neck sweater. Look for them. Um, oh, uh, probably around 30 bucks sale. I pay, mm, uh, we got this at a local thrift. I think we paid $3 for this, give or take a dollar. Okay. All right. Now, I don't usually pick these up either, but it is vintage. It is a... Chaps Ralph Lauren, another one, but this is a man's shirt, long sleeve, with a surfer dude on the front, or excuse me, a snowboard dude on the front print, and it's got the double stripes. See, stripe, double stripe, one side, one side, double stripes on the left sleeve. It seems that the Ralph Lauren's, like the cell uh, with, with the printout or some type of logo or something on the front or back or both or on the arms, sell better. So I'm looking to probably list this one for about $23 and just see what happens with it. $23 or best offer. Um, paid $3 for it at a local thrift. All right. Hello, J. Crew. Everybody knows J. Crew. This is a J. Crew 100% lamb's wool. Men's. Why is it men's? Because it's square. See the square on the sides? Square, see it's square. Can y'all see that square? It's not rounded off like a like a hourglass. Um, <clears throat> this will be a quarter zip or a half zip. I can't see it from here. Maybe it's a half zip. Uh, quarter zip. So that's a quarter zip pullover. One hundred percent lambs wool uh, sweater, men's size large. This will probably go for around. 22 to 24 dollars so there you go look for those all right this one i wasn't sure about um i know this brand has sold quite well in the past depending on the patterns and the st stitching and uh what embroideries are on the pockets or on the front or in the pockets or in the front pockets or around the seams or whatever so i got this one because I thought it was interesting. Actually, I didn't get it. My wife did. Of course, she thought it was interesting. This is a Miss Keen Originals. I know y'all know this brand. If y'all don't, look it up. Okay? That says Miss Keen Original. All right. And what makes this one special is some, like um, hip-hop shorts. They're baggy, if you can see that from there. And they have the embroidery on the, on the uh, right pocket. And then they have the Miss Keen embroidery, of course, on the on the waist. And then they have the cool embroidery, colorful pockets on both sides. And it has a cool stitching all the way around, too. If you can see the stitching and some of it, I'm not sure if it's purposely distressed this way. Maybe you, some of y'all might know. If you do, put it in the comments for me so I can list this at a better price if, or I know how to list it. See, like some of the stitching is kind of hanging there, but it doesn't go anywhere. It's like it was meant to be there. It's been tied in a knot. So, so it won't go back through the jeans. I don't know if the person who had these tied them in a knot, um, but it's like that on there. It's also like that on this side where it looks like that's been tied in a knot. I don't know if I can see that. Right there. It's in a knot. Let me do this. So whoever had it tied in a knot so they wouldn't be pulled back through the jeans. I don't know if they may have been made that way. I don't know. Anyway, um, I'm going to list these between 20 and 25 bucks. These actually, these are men's shorts, and they are a size 38, men's 38. And there's the Miss King tag. So there you go. All right, hip hop shorts, baggy. 
that's what you put in your listings. Make sure you put that because people will actually search for that on eBay. All right. Whew. Let's do one more. And then what we'll do is we'll make this a two-part video because I don't want you guys to get bored. And this is a Pepe Jeans London long sleeve shirt. Don't really know how to list this one yet because it looks like a military type camouflage. It's got stuff on the sleeve. It's got, I mean, the RN number is on the chest. <laughs> The RN number and the, it's a PJL 1973. I don't know what that means. I gotta look this up because I am not really sure how to list this one yet. Um, I got it because it just looked cool. And it's got stuff on the right sleeve also, Pepe jeans and all that. And then it's got the cool, you know, embroidery on the chest. And then it's got here on the back, it has uh, this. I don't know if I can get that to come all the way up. Oh, here, let's do this. Yeah, let's do this that'll help all right so this is pepe jeans company that's all it says it's just like a stamp and then it's got the pepe jeans logo on the back and this is the pepe jeans pepe you call it what you want to call it pepe 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 jeans pp maybe you want to call it pp jeans i don't know anyway that's what the logo or the tag looks like very cool shirt don't know what i'm list this for yet but i do know what's going on ebay all right so that's for right now i'm, I'm gonna end it there Whew, that was a lot of work. I ain't gonna take a nap now. Anyway, I have more over here. And I'm probably going to, yeah, we're gonna wait because I have something very exciting that I found. Actually, we found, my wife and I did. And they are from the 1970s and they've never been worn. So you guys are gonna have to stay tuned for that one. Yep, cliffhanger. <laughs> Welcome to my world. So anyway, I do appreciate you guys coming and listening and me jabbering on about my finds. And I hope that y'all uh, find some of this information helpful. Um, as I learned this journey of thrifting and picking, I'm still got a lot to learn, y'all. A lot to learn. I find myself doing a lot of comps checking. <clears throat> I check everything. If I've never seen it before, if I'm not familiar with it, I check it. I don't care what it is. Um, I have gotten a little bit of knowledge from the, the amount of picking that I've done. So it does help me a bit, uh, but thrifting can be kind of slow for me. I don't go around and just throw things in the buggy like some guys do, throws it in the buggy, throw them out, you know, I have a big pile of clothes way up here and you can't hardly see it like, let me go check the next rack. No, I don't do that. Um, I know what I'm looking for. I don't pick just specific brands, but I do have specific brands I look for. And then I have the ones I've never seen. And the ones I've never seen are pretty plentiful. Um, some things y'all may be you know, familiar with and I'm not familiar with, and I check everything. I'll put it in a buggy and I'll check it. If I don't like it, if it don't sell, throw it back on the rack. Um, and that goes for everything. Pants, I, I, I'll just be honest with you guys, I really don't do jeans. Um, I know you can sell jeans and they're profitable, but jeans are just a hassle for me. I can have a shirt listed in no time. That's measurements, photos on eBay in just a few seconds, done. Jeans take a little bit more time for me. And I don't, what I don't have is a lot of time because I have a full, like, you know, you know, if you've watched my previous videos, you know, I have a full-time job. So I have to do what's fast for me. Um, so anyway, I'm going to stop rambling. You guys have, you guys have been here long enough. Thank you for coming by. Hit the like and subscribe and the bell. And I look forward to seeing you guys very, very soon.